This is William Dimmick Johnson with some incredibly disjointed rambling on the roots of bad jamming. Route 1. Thinking the story is more important than the PCs. What is your PC's most important piece of equipment? Has it ever been a camera? Have you felt that it doesn't really matter what you carry, what you got, what skills you have? What you really needed was a camera, just to say I was here. Here I am at the Forest of Doom with all my friends. We're going to go inside and stop the Mad Wizard. And then here I am, somewhere on the Forest of Doom, and we've been attacked by these bodies of goblins. Here I am, saying I'm the body corpse of a goblin. And here I am in the Forest of Doom at the Wizard's Tower. We've met this GMPC, and they're going to do the venture for us. And later, here we are at the final confrontation of the GMPC and the, and the evil wizard. Well, that's a horrible game. But I've been in those horrible games. The root of those is usually the GM thinking that their cool storyline is far more important than the PCs having any agency, any way to influence the plot whatsoever. This is bad. You should never feel that your most important piece of equipment is a camera. Unless, of course, you are playing Call of Cthulhu. In which case, that might be your important piece of camera, because you just don't know that there are squidgly, squadgly horrors that are going to slip, them up, slip your face off. So, of course, you've bought a camera to do some investigating. But that's Call of Cthulhu. You're supposed to be woefully underprepared. Other games? Not so much. Unless, of course, you are playing Paranoia, the best game ever. And you are the one charged with recording the mission. In which case, yes, your, pe your camera is your most important piece of equipment. Because, God help you if you ever lose it. But then again, that's paranoia. Other games, you should have some stuff which enables you to influence events, to change what's going on. Or better yet, you should be the one changing things. You should be on the active foot. You should be doing something the bad guys should be trying to stop you from spreading the cause of good everywhere. Or, if you play that other type of game, you are the villains, you are the bad guys, and the NPCs are the good guys hopelessly trying to stop you. And you get to stand on their pile of bodies and laugh and cackle maniacally. That's a far better game. When you get to influence events. Route 2 Having an NPC be more important than the PCs. Now, you see this in one or two forms. The first is that there is some NPC who enters the party. Now, often they're there because the GM had good intentions. The PCs have some ability they're lacking. There's no starship engineer. There's no one who can read ancient runes. Or in a fantasy game, there is no one who can cast healing spells. Do not put in an NPC to make up for the gaps that the PCs do not have. It is far better to exploit that gap every now and then, to put the pressure on the PCs, to make them realise maybe they should have had some other choices, or show them why this other choice is so viable and so cool and so useful, than to just have some faceless NPC there to pop them up and act as a crutch. That's always bad. It never ends well. And... Of course, the worst way it can end is when the NPC gets to dominate the party. They become more and more and more important. The GM has seen this cool thing and that cool thing in their book, and they put it on their NPC, and they get this magic item, or they get this special ability, and they get that put on them as well, and they grow to dominate the plot, and they lead the other PCs round by the nose. And really, the only time you should be doing that is in Paranoia. When... It is possible that you will need something like the Jackabot. And you're not allowed to hurt the Jackabot because the computer will kill you. You're not allowed to lose the Jackabot because the computer will kill you. And so when the Jackabot rushes off down the corridor, you've got to follow it. But that's because paranoia is a parody. It is parodying the bad NPCs you see in other adventures where it's suddenly decided that you need this ability, so here's the special NPC to do it. Don't do it. Let the PCs be the heroes. If they are missing something, let them feel it. 
the other bad sort of NPC is the one who has designated things they have to do in the future of, this, of the story. This is related to the first point, the story being more important. If the villain is due to turn up in scene B and then later in scene E, make plans for what happens if the PCs kill him in scene B. Maybe he even you know, he can be so cheap as to even have him have, have a brother, or he's just a lieutenant, and, you know, you made the mistake of thinking he was the big bad guy. Well, he wasn't. He was just some lowly underling that you killed. Or, you know, you did something equally cheap, like, yeah, he sent a body double. Because he knew that the PCs were going to kill him, because that's what PCs do. They kill people. It doesn't matter if you've been playing some peaceful game. They still find ways to kill each other. It's just frightening that way. Or you can come up with some other reason. Maybe because he's dead, something else happens. The adventure does go off in some different direction. After all, you often get at least a week between each play session, so you've got some planning time. Don't just let the NPC, the villain, get away. Don't say he shrugs off your attacks and he's immune. Unless you're playing that truly horrible D&D module, Curse of Xenophon, where well, that was the plot. The villain was immune, and you had to go and find the immunity thing. In fact, no, just don't play that module either. It was horrible. It was awful. So, if the NPC goes down, the NPC goes down. So in summary, the PCs are the ones who are important. They're more important than your plot. They are more important than your NPCs. They are the ones being done by the players. They are the ones that the players want to know about, want to hear about. Not your plot, not your NPCs. They are important as well, but they do not outshine the PCs. Thank you. Please press like, please subscribe, please comment below. Apparently you're supposed to say that at the end of these things.